Hey everybody, I'm here with Tom from Village Brass here in Rosemary Beach. And Tom, tell us a little bit about why and how you came up with the idea to create, I guess, a second line band. Is that what you would call it? Right, styled after the New Orleans street bands. And this started uh, for the Fort Walton Beach Mardi Gras parade. Uh, I don't know who approached us, but we had the opportunity to throw a little band together. So uh, uh, Fred and myself and uh, Chuck on sax and, and Wayne on guitar. I see. Very, very cool. And you guys are here in Rosemary every Sunday afternoon. Is that right? That's right. Starting at 5. So, John, can you tell me a little bit about what the Second Line tradition, where it comes from, and what the purpose is? Second Line tradition is actually a tradition of celebration in a New Orleans funeral. Okay. Starts out with the funeral dirge, and they take the deceased to the graveyard and everything, and on the way back, you know, the music will pick up. And the Second Line are all the celebrants back behind the the folks that were part of the, the burial committee there, so to speak, the family and everything. So they're celebrating the deceased's life. So the music picks up, it's lively. It's a celebration of life is what right. it is. Right. So you guys are bringing that celebration basically to Rosemary here and to, to the people as they're just walking down the street or come, you we know, heading to, to dinner. Do, we do some marching. I mean, it's a mixture of, it's a festive Mardi Gras, second line type feel and everything. So it's a party group. We do a little bit of everything. We'll do traditional Dixieland tunes. We'll do more modern music, you know, in the vein of Trombone Shorty and some of the other players in New Orleans. So, and then we do just straight jazz standards because we have such a fabulous group of musicians here. And our trombone player is the youngest member in the group. The rest of us are, are quite experienced, so to speak. So we've been around a while. Fly, so you're one of the founding members of the Village Brass, right? And you are originally from Actually, from New Orleans, right? I'm from New Orleans. And, and what brought you here? How did you end up here? In when Hurricane Katrina came, we were like the only uh, automobile on the highway coming this way. And uh, been here ever since. And anything in particular, why have you stayed? Oh, this is paradise, man. I mean, every, <laughs> everything is just, it's just great out here. It's right. fantastic. I right. love it. Right. Love it. Right. Awesome. And so you obviously have seen... A, you know, the second line tradition in action, in its actual functional use. How does this feel to be able to bring that music then to all people who aren't in New Orleans? Well, I'm just looking at the people, how amazed they are to, to, to hear and watch us perform. You right. know, it, it's just different from anything you've seen, right. you know. <laughs> right. That's what it's all about, yeah. you know, so yeah. it, it, it's fantastic, it's wonderful. Fly, this sounds amazing. Sounds like a really cool thing to witness and see for yourself. So. Every Sunday evening for the summer in Rosemary Beach, you can come check out Village Brass. And Fly, where can they go to get more information about this? All you got to do is go to rosemarybeach.com and laissez-baton rouler. <laughs>